Hello, 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 hello. I haven't retweeted it, 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 it my chair around, have I? So you can't see it. Sorry about that, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another Saturday night. Sat in a corner in my living room. I don't know what the stream quality is like. Apparently, it's crap according to YouTube. I don't bloody know. But hey, hey ho, we plod on anyway, don't we? How's the sound quality, guys? Can you all hear me all right? Can you not? Put some music in. I've, it's, I've, 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 settings have gone stupid. I don't know what's going on, Christine. I'm very sorry, my love. Uh, I'm a shoe, I'm a shoe kick. Can you all hear me all right? Can you all see me all right? Um, um, yeah. Trim the beard this week. About the highlight, I think. Oh, and the head's getting a bit more fluffy as well. So I need a bit of an haircut as well. So that's a risk I'm not going to take just yet. Uh, if you can all hear me, uh, just say in the chat so I know that you have that I'm getting through with sound. Can you hear me in the chat? I'm going to say yes, you can. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you can, because otherwise I just struck my face and it looked a bit weird um, on the video. Um, right, tonight, let me get on. First of all, first of all, first of all, don't worry. Do not adjust your tellies. Or your phones, or your tablets, or your consoles, or your laptops, or whatever device you view this face on. The shirt's blue. Not white, it's blue this week. Decided on a bit of a change there, pal. Decided on a bit of a change. Now, pardon? Throwing caution to the wind. Through, through caution to the wind. Eggs, absa freaking lootly. Absa freaking lootly. And the tie. Is a lovely spotty number what looks like a Weatherspoon's carpet. So, with that in mind, let's uh, bang on the old tie clip. There we go. Right. Are we well? Are we good? Are we all right? Are we up, we're down, we're left, we're right? We ain't got any C word going on in here. There's none of that C word. We don't want any of that in here. This is a place, it, it's a C word free. You pick the C word, you say. Stop giggling there, Rebecca Hales. She's giggling over there, I can hear her. <laughs> tie pins on, the lucky star struck tie pins on, Starfleet. LLAP. 10 up primals, 10, 10 primal scream down and Richard. Hey, no one's ever done that, John, I tell you. No one's ever turned me up in, in favour of primal scream. Oh, Lord. I've listened to Oasis earlier. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, right, shall we get on with, me beverage, with the beverages, first and foremost? We've got a, a can of... The old speckled hen from that there, Aldi. How much was it, Rebecca? Do you remember? Not a clue. Not a clue. Four cans for a certain amount. And I'm going to stick it in a Camden Sound Brewery beer glass. So, is that not sacrilege, sticking ale in a beer glass, in a in a, in a pub glass? <laughs> right, let me just pour this out so I've got my pint ready. Because I need to wet my whistle when I'm doing this. It's two hours. I tell you, it's not easy, is it, Rebecca? Anyway, as you can hear, she's over to the other side of the room. She's only in, in the swivel chair tonight, Rebecca. She's not in the uh, in the corner of the sofa. She's on the chair. She's having a cup of tea and a slice of cake. It's decaf tea though, and it's coffee cake. B -b 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 but the coffee was decaf in that as well, so she ain't going to be up all night. And anyway, and stream beverage, and a trusty can of the old Coca Cola as well, because you know. You can't beat a can of coke coming on again. That head's getting bigger, but I, I, I need to cover that up. I need an out of stomach because because every time I look down, all I can see is reflection off that light up there into my head. Right, it's gonna get even more bald. <sighs> Not then. Right, how many we got in? How many we got? Let's have a look. How, how many we got, Rebecca? Fourteen watching now. Fourteen on. Fourteen on. I reckon that might be a good place to start. Is it a good place to start? Shall we wait a minute? Shall we wait a couple more minutes? Give it to five past. Are we all up and down, left and right? We're all good. There's no Paulies. Can I just make sure of that? There's no ill. We're all good. We're all healthy. All you key workers all right? Frontline NHS, whatever you're doing, are you all all right? You're good. Good to hear, if you are. I'm assuming you said you were. I can hear you. And, you know, there's no feedback, no That's disco. Fair. Ben's in the chat. Hello, Benny boy. How are you, cuz? How are you, Darren? John? Christine? Oh, Jason. Julie, Bradders, you're in as well. Good man. Bradders is... Are you going live later on, mate? 
on Twitch. He did a. W- I tell you what, his Twitch stream last week was absolutely brilliant. After this quiz, we went up to bed and we sat and watched Bradders in. It sounds weird, this, doesn't it? <laughs> sat and watched his Twitch stream. He's playing in the top 90s tunes. It was really good. He's a good laugh. You'll love him. If if he goes live, just go play it. Get a flat cat like Grand Arnold did. I used to have one, Benny Boy. I, I had one years ago. Oh, it was cracking, I tell you. Right. Have you got your pens, your pencils, your rulers, your protractors ready? Because I'm going to change the screen in a minute. In fact, Go for it. I'm changing it now. Boom, how's that? I don't know what happened there. It seemed to go a bit wrong there. Hey, look at that. No, I, I, I need to point that way. Because the screen's over there. That's the problem. That way, look. New bits. New bits. How to play. Look at that. How to play. All right. Write your answers on a piece of paper or in the comments below. Problem with putting them in the comments is if you put it first, then it's right. Everyone else can copy. You don't want to do that, do you? It's only a bit of fun, but you don't want to give everyone the answer, do you? Stick it on a bit of paper, but I do appreciate you commenting because it it's, it tells me that I know you're watching, that I know you're doing it. Because if, because if not, I'm just talking to myself, and I do that enough anyway. Shh, you don't. Yes, I do. Shush. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to have a sip of my booze. Oh, very good. Brothers is recording a new series for his YouTube. So if you click on his channel, on his name, on the chat, you'll get his channel up. And you can subscribe to that. He's a gamer. He's, he's a proper laugh. He's a right knob. You'll love him. That's nice. I swear where that's all about. So, anyway, how to play. Answers in a piece of paper are in the comments below. Fairly straightforward, isn't it? End of the quiz. Enter your comments on... Onto the YouTube chat down below, underneath, or on Facebook, BGFOB Facebook group, or DM me or Rebecca. We're more than happy to that, aren't we? Although I'm not really on Facebook at the minute. I've got my phone here, but I'm not really using it, because it's uh, just for me to glance at when I need the questions and stuff, or if I need the questions and stuff. As a matter of fact, I better get them up and in there, shouldn't I? So I know what I'm looking at. I know I've got them on the screen there, but I need them on here as well. Because, you know, it comes in handy, doesn't it? 205. Is it the 2nd of May already? Bloody hell, fire. Where's this year gone? A winner will... Who, ob, ob, obviously, the winner's the one who has, who has the most points at the end of the quiz. And a tiebreaker if we need it. But if we don't need it, I'm going to ask it anyway, because it's always a bit of fun, isn't it? Right. Now, what time are we on? 8 or 7? Let's go for it. Shall we get ready? Let's do it. Are we ready, Rebecca? Let's go. Are we ready? I ain't getting any younger. Make sure I'm on the right screen, Rich, when you click. Pens, pencils, protractors, rulers, rubbers, drinks at the ready. I ask you this every week. And I've never needed a protractor, have we, in our quiz, have we? No, no. There may be an angle question coming soon. Right, are we ready? Question number one. Here we go. Children's Book The Witches was written by which author? Children's Book The Witches was written by which author? Easy literature start question. Starter for literature. By the way, all questions are worth one point. So, except, ec- not yet. except if there's multiple answers where they're worth one point each. I never told them about the bonus question. I've put a bonus round in, guys. Ho oh, oh, ho! Tell you what, this changes everything. I'm taking it very seriously. Tell you, tell you, we're, t- we're taking this very, very seriously. This. A bonus quiz. And I'll tell you something else at the end of the questions as well that I've got in mind. So, anyway, for now, who wrote The Witches? (laughs) I'll go to question two in a sec. Shall I go to question two, Rebecca? Are you ready for question number two? Yeah. We're ready for question number two? Question number two. Here we go. What was the original name of Muhammad Ali? Floats like a butterfly, stings when he pees. That's not right. No, it's not, is it? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he once said, uh, hey, hey, great boxer, what was the original name of Muhammad Ali? What was his original name? He once said to a, a journalist, I'm so fast, I turn off the light and, I'm in, uh, and I get into bed before it gets dark. And he used to say to people, I'm so pretty, I'm so pretty. He once got punched in the mouth quite hard. <laughs> uh, I think it was like the third... That happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. No, but it was uh, somebody broke his jaw. Ken Norton, I think, broke his jaw. <laughs> anyway. 
I think in like the third round of a fight. Anyway, I say in What's Muhammad Ali's original name? You know anything any more facts about Muhammad Ali? He's not still with us, John. He passed away a couple of years ago, Muhammad Ali. I was rather sad. I was rather sad that day. He was my favourite fighter of all time. I love Muhammad Ali. His daughter appeared on a TV show, didn't she, where she got sent to jail? Oh, yeah. She went on. No, she wasn't at all. Anyway, question number three. Shall we go to question three? How many players on a cricket team? How many players on a cricket team? Now, I'm, to I'm thinking fielding here, because obviously if you're batting, it's two. And the rest are rum and a brew in, in the clubhouse. Fielding side of things. Still, it's the same players who field as bat, but f how many players? Yeah, how many players in a whole team? A few answers. Uh, Shogar Ray Leonard. He was a cracking fighter, Shogar Ray Leonard, wasn't he? Uh, J.K. Rowling for the first one there, Dave. I, I'm, I'm not sure what she if, if she wrote The Witches or not there, Dave. Uh, Stephen Slack. Mm, don't know who that is, mate, Christine. You, you, you kind of lost me on that one. Um, oh, I think it's just started. I'm sat right next to the conservatory, so if you can hear, if, 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 if you can hear something, it's rain on the conservatory roof next door. Uh, there. <laughs> it's not there. there. Right. I'm the in the cricket team. Next question. Next question. What is the what is the what blah, 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 what name is given to the science and study of drawing maps? What name is is given to the science and study of drawing maps? It's good in that one. That's a good question, that Rebecca. Yeah. Really good question. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know. I've got books. I've got a book upstairs actually about. Someone who draws maps. And yet you don't know what it's called? Of course I know what it's called. I did the bloody question. Yeah, but before... I did that bit. That bit. I need to put it that way. I, I did that bit. But when we were sorting it, I forgot. Yeah. You, oh, you forgot. You knew it. You just forgot. Well, I've never read it. Then you don't know it then, do you? I've never read that book. Oh, my God. It all comes out now, doesn't it? I've got a book upstairs about a guy who writes maps. But I can't remember the name of the book. And I've never read it. But no, I've got it. And you couldn't remember what the name of the study of drawing maps I should have remembered. I'll tell you why after the break. But yeah. Anyway. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Right. Do, 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 do. X marks the spot. Could be right that, John. Could be right. Could be right. You and a nerd came out for this one, Ben. Hey, hey. Well done, pal. Well done. Hey, don't ever have an inner nerd. Have an outer nerd as well. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, be careful with that one. Be careful with that. Next question. If you're born on St. George's Day, what's your star sign? If you're born on St. George's Day, what is your star sign? Well, that means you need to know two things. Firstly, when the hell is St. George's Day? And secondly, what the star signs are. It was St. George's Day recently, wasn't it? I don't know. There was one last year. There, there, there is a St. George's Day every year. Oh, no, Matt, you've missed the first four questions. Oh, Matt, Matt, Matt. Do you want to, uh, do you want to give him the questions, you Rebecca, been, in the uh, chat? You haven't been putting the questions in the uh, chat. In the no, I don't on this. I've never done on this. Do you want mm. two secs, Matt? I'll just give the, the phone to... Re I'll, I'll just give this to Rebecca, because it's got the questions on it. And I'll just read them off the screen. And I'll just give it... Bear with me a second, guys. Look at that, eh? System waste. So, um, if you missed any of the questions, are you just going to put them first four in for Matt, please, Rebecca? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put, 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 put the questions in the doobly day under that, where you are, in the chat. And then we'll go from there with it for you. Does that, that make it a bit easier for you, mate? Sorry, pal. Ah, oh, nice one, mate. Your video camera connects to Wi Fi and you can use your phone as a remote. Hey, that's all right, isn't it? That's all right, that. Anyway, question number six. Question six. Yeah. What kind of animal is a Russian blue? 
Oh, what kind of animal is a Russian blue? It's just you think it likes vodka and other Russian stereotypes. So, well done. I like that, Darren. That's, that's really good, that, Darren. I like that. Yeah, that's really good. Question number five is going to be answered based on the star sign of furniture I get an animal crossing, and that'll only really work if St. George's Day was last month. <laughs> I like that. By the way, does anybody play Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch? If you don't, it's the most ridiculous game you've ever played because you don't do anything. You, it's just live. On an island, build a house, do this or that. There's no end game to it. It's just live. And it's it's the most boring game I've ever played, but it's really good. It's, it's, it's weird. I, I don't know why I enjoy it so much, but it, it's a good laugh. And I do enjoy stuff from Nintendo. Again, if you want stuff from Nintendo, see Darren is an absolute whiz when it comes to Nintendo stuff. He's an absolute cracking cat. Cracking guy as well. Right, uh, question number six. Oh, we got answers for question number six. I'm assuming we all have, because I'm going to go to question seven in a minute. Has <laughs> question seven coming up? By what name? This is a good. This is a tough one. By what name was Aragorn first known to Frodo in Lord of the Rings? By what name was Aragorn first known to Frodo in Lord of the Rings? If you don't get this one, Ben, I'll be most disappointed because I saw the Lord of the Rings box set on your Instagram the other day. What name was Aragorn first known to Frodo in Lord of the Rings? By what name was Aragorn first known to Frodo? Which would attempt to sell his tenants today in Animal Crossing? I bloody well was, mate. I really was. I tell you. <laughs> it's going to... Post them up to this question there, Rebecca, on the chat, and that'll do, I think. I think we'll be caught. I'll leave her to it. She's on it. She's on it. By what name was Aragorn first known to Frodo in Lord of the Rings? Has anyone seen the Lord of Anyone seen the Lord of the Rings? That's his Italian. That they think Tifano, John, is the is is Aragorn's Italian cousin. That statue of Gollum. Very nice there, Ben. Very nice. All the special editions, the Two Towers, Collector's Edition, and the special and the Statue of Gollum. <laughs> Jeff or Dave. Could be. But I still think his Italian cousin Tifana might be the right answer there, John. Shall we go to question eight? Question eight. Who had a hit in 81 with Tainted Love? Who had a hit in 81 with Tainted Love? Tainted love. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away, get away. That's about as best as you get from me when it comes to singing. You're right there, Rebecca. You're cracking on. You on there, pal? Yeah. That's it. You, your bum was caught up. Oh. I stick my beer over there. I tell you. Uh, what? Uh, who had a hit with Tainted Love in '81? I can't believe it was 1981. To be fair, I thought it was later. There aren't any bonus points for if you know who covered it in 2001 either. Can I just add that? No bonus points for that. However, I did quite enjoy the 2001 cover version as well. Big clue. It was metal. Big shout to the legendary crew. That was Aragog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spider in Harry, in Harry Potter was Aragog. Here lies Aragog. He was a spider. <laughs> Can't be the original by Gloria Jones. Well, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not a song I know very well, to be fair. Two had a hit in eight to one love, and we're ready for question number nine. Have you caught up now, Rebecca? Yeah. Are, are you putting them all in the chat? Yeah. Okay, well. fair enough. Put putting them all in the chat. Doing it. Excuse me, a bit windy. Pop stick cover though, quite well. Question nine. Who appeared in both the London and Philadelphia Live Aid concerts? Who appeared in both London and Philadelphia's Live Aid concerts? Quite good in that one, isn't it? Philadelphia and London. It's very locked in. It's very distressing. Because I like it to be locked. 
when I'm not using it. Well, I'm using it. Oh, uh, okay. Who appeared at both London and Philadelphia's Live Aid concerts? <laughs> you like the 2001 cover, Dave? Yeah, the video. Yeah, it was a good video. Had uh, D Joe Johnson of Slipknot in it, if I recall, in his Slipknot days. Who appeared in both concerts? Yeah, it's quite an impressive thing they made. This person, Bob Oban, were able to do, appearing in two concerts in two continents in the same day. Stop talking, you give things away. I am. I am. No, no. Okay. Next one. This one of mine, this one. I like this one. Blaring Oasis fought for number one single in the summer of 1995. Yeah, it's yours. It's the longest bloody question <laughs> in the world. I had to make some adjustments for this one, can you tell? Oasis, Blair were number one with Country House. Oasis were number two. B -b 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 with which song? Blair and Oasis fought for the number one single in the summer of 95. Blair were number one with Country House. Oasis were number two with which song? I have both singles because I love both bands. Out. I didn't have a Blair and Oasis rivalry. I loved them both. They were both fantastic back in the mid. Oh, so I still listen to them both now. I'm regular. Oh. oh baby's the baby's awake. So the questions might stop. The baby's awake. Stop, in the chat, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to... I do hope you're all caught up on the questions because the baby's awake, unfortunately. So, but how... Any road... So the wife's just going to go and see to the baby, and I'll carry on here as normal. I'm good at that bit. How are we doing on that one? We're doing all right for that one. We made Daft Vengeance the country house up at school, and you're a Blair fanboy, Ben. There are there are worse bands to be a fanboy of, Ben. And just is one of them. Blair are very good, though. Really like them. Any more with that one? Any more for that one? Are we all all right with that one? She stops. No. No, okay. So the wife's going to go and see the baby. I'll carry on with it. Uh, Blown Oasis uh, fought for number one single in the summer of 1995. Blair were number one with Country House. Oasis were number two with which song? So I saw, a, I saw a crumb with a very sore bone in the country. Oh, very good. Right, anyway, next one. Question 11. Which Roman, which number is represented by the Roman numeral D? Roman numeral D. Which number is represented by the Roman numeral D? Oh, sorry, my bloody neck. You are an uncultured swine, Darren Cowan. Yeah, absolutely right, Paul. However, I'll tolerate you for now. I'll put up with you, pal. How's your mum doing, anyway? You say hi to her for me. I, I do hope your mum's watching and playing along. If not, why? I think she'll like this. Which, num which number is represented by the Roman numeral D? <laughs> How are you all doing? Are you still doing all right down there, out there? Are you still there? Uh... How, how many have we got in? I can't even see it, actually. We've still got... Oh, yeah, still got 14 in. That's all right. That's good to see. Oh, my... Which number is represented by D? Alright. You should know this one, Darren. You should, yeah, I, I, I should think you should know them all, Darren, to be fair. I don't know if I'm saying the, your, your comments out how far behind it is. Uh, never mind. Room number D. Shall we go to question number... She would destroy you with her oasis knowledge. <laughs> Good girl. I like your mum. She's great. Shall we go to the next question? I'll give you another few seconds on that one. You just remember the Lord of the Rings answer. Well done, Christine. As the husband remembered, though. That's the, that's the point. Yeah, did the husband know it? So. Roman number all D. Shall we go to the next question? Next question, then. If my computer works. There we go. How many pints in a quart? How many pints in a quart? Excuse me. <clears throat> nice and easy. How many of these in one of them? 
<laughs> Strong bow dark fruit. Good lad. De uh, well done there, Ben. Good lad, Ben. Strong bow. I'm. I t t tell you what. I'm trouncing this old speckled end. Lovely beer. If you don't, if you want a good beer, old speckled end is very very tasty. It's a nice ale. Quite nice. He did not. Oh well, Christine. That's. Uh, we 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 have to know his level, don't we? Sport fine, a few other bits fine, but mm, not a lot of the rings guy. That's good to know. That's good to know. I don't know what some 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 something weird when I'm talking to somebody who's in the chat who's responded to something. I look at their name as if I'm talking to them. And I should be long. It 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 far better if I was talking to the camera, wouldn't it? But never mind. Right. How many pints in the quart? I'll give you another. Give you another little bit. Well, where would you get drunk on a quart of beer? No, that would be telling. That would be telling. How many pints in the quart? Shall we go to question thirteen? There we go. Which ancient? Um, again, authors. Which ancient Greek author wrote the fable of the tortoise and the hare? Which ancient Greek author wrote the fable of the tortoise and the hare? I didn't know this was Greek. I'm going to be honest with you, but it makes sense now. A lot of philosophers. Which ancient Greek author wrote the fable of the tortoise and the hare? Did anyone see the... Um, oh, from years and years and years ago. The Warner Brothers cartoon based on that. The tortoise and the... That. I still can't get used to it. The tortoise and the hare. Did anyone see that? It's so funny. Bugs Bunny. And then there's um, the hare, I think it was. Dead funny. Dead funny. Which ancient Greek horse? Oh, horse? Yes. Horse. R -r -r wrote the fable of the tortoise and the hare. I got my teeth in. Which ancient Greek, Greek author wrote the tortoise and the hare? Nice and easy. If you... They're easy when you know it. I know that's something I want to stress. The easy when you know them. It's a gateway drink, Ben. I like that. <laughs> if you'd asked the Roman numeral for I, V, X, M, I'd have got it. But the, that also, yeah. The, that, the, 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 that does narrow it down there, Darren. It really does. Uh, Julia. Da, 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 da. Right, shall we go to the next question? I'll give you another few seconds on that one. So you only had a minute or so on that one, haven't you? You only know one Greek author and he might have been Roman. Caesar. Also makes good salads. Mmm. And the Emperor Nero. Great coffee. <laughs> I wonder if he's related to Costa. And stab book. Question 14. Which is the southernmost capital city in the world? Which is the southernmost capital city in the world? There's got to be a city's question in there as well. You've got to get a city's question. You've got to get the music, you've got to get the sport. you got to get the cities. Three staples for me. Music, sport and cities. Waldorf sat... Yes, well, well... Now he was... I don't think he was a Greek emperor or Roman emperor was Waldorf. I really don't. But, you know, never know, John. Which is the southernmost capital city in the world? The southernmost. This, I actually, it threw me this one when I first read it. Because I thought, because what I do is I read the question and then before I know the answer, I guess. I would try and see if I know the answer. And if I don't know it, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I honestly thought the, 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 the answer to this one was somewhere else. Yeah, see? Anyway. Best city is my city. One into know the other. Well, I'm going to deny. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to agree with that because I think the best city in this in this land is Hull in England. But you know that's that's just me because I'm biased at the other end of the sixty-two from John. <laughs> right. Which is the southernmost capital city in the world? I know this. I was in another quiz. Hey, well done. That's all right then, Julian. Isn't it? That's quite handy when that comes in. The Emperor Nero was a good fisherman. Yes, I bet he was as well. 
Question 15. Question 15. What, what nationality was the artist Rembrandt? Where did Rembrandt come from? Oh, tell you what, my lag. Oh, it's not you buffering, it's me again. Should work on that a little bit, shouldn't I? My own personal buffering, tell you. What nationality was the artist Rembrandt? Mm-hmm. Where did Rembrandt come from? Does anyone... You see, Darren, this is another one for, anim... for Animal Crossing. You see? I think you... With this one, you should know this from Animal Crossing, Darren. Should do. <laughs> and if you're not, well, you're just not doing the art gallery stuff, are you? I don't know why I haven't yet, but you know. I've got my art gallery, but I've not done it with it yet. What nationality was Rembrandt? Give me another 30 seconds on that one before I switch it up. I've actually got a clock at the top of my screen. It's really useful. That's the good thing with Linux. The clock at the top, 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 top of your screen and, and it shows the seconds as well. It's quite handy. It was a good painter. I might ask him to do my ceilings actually next week. They need doing after social media, after so social distancing is done. Yeah. And John, for that one. For that joke. Oh, rain's kicking up again. Let's go. Question 16. The Aurora Borealis is the name of the Northern Lights. What are the Southern Lights called? Also called. The Aurora Borealis is the name of the Northern Lights. What are the Southern Lights also called? There we go. 2017. I was in uh, Reykjavik and we went to go see the Northern Lights. Stood in an icy in a field snow about halfway up or just over my ankles freezing cold stood by a waterfall after midnight was up at 6am the next morning for whale watching god man my, my life sounds uh, exciting but it really isn't you know Michelangelo was a man for seeing as I know I should have gone for him recently anyway um, yeah uh, three late at night in a field three foot of snow ish um, a foot of snow, maybe two, three foot of snow, uh, in a field. I could, I could hear a waterfall, beautiful lake in front of me. Seeing the Northern Lights. Holiday of a lifetime. I couldn't recommend Reykjavik more for just a place to go see. It's a beautiful little city. Lovely little city. Wonderful people who just want to show off their stuff. This is our great country. Once all this shit's over with, with the C word you got to go. Just go to Reykjavik for, for about five days. You'll love it. It's brilliant. Anyway, what are the Southern Lights called? Aurora Borealis located entirely within your kitchen. <laughs> yeah, The Simpsons is very good. I'm actually streaming them on Disney Plus at the minute. After Well, in between episodes of Clone Wars. Excuse me if I have my eye. In between... In between episodes of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, it's that and The Simpsons at the moment on there for me. It's, it's my cartoon channel. But anyway, shall we go to the next question? Yeah, let's go to the next question. Here we go. How many stomachs has a cow got? How many stomachs has a cow got? Now, there are pictures in the answers. Pictures are going to be in the answers. The picture of this is not gruesome, by the way. It's fine. It's a diagram I got for this one. So, how many stomachs has a cow got? <laughs> Bit of biology. Bit of biology. You didn't. You saw Re you, you you went to Reykjavik again. You didn't see the Northern Lights. Some whale watching was cancelled. Oh, that's all. That sucks. Oh, Gainer. Oh, I'm sorry. For, I feel sorry for you, my love. Oh my god, that's awful. But I tell you what, what a city though. Great city though, isn't it? Great. Co There's a little coffee place near the cathedral, uh, up, 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 up near Eric's the Red Cathedral, and it sucked us in because the wall was just co the wall outside was just covered in jerks and stuff like that, and we just decided to go in and and have a coffee, and we ended up we, we ended up heading back there. 
um, a couple of days later, and they were so good. They let us order in Icelandic and helped us with our Icelandic. Great, great place. I forget the name. I forget the name. If you remember it, Rebecca, can you uh, put the name bit in the chat for me, please? Because I can't remember what it is. Do, 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 do. Question 17. You know this one, DK, you better be right. Well, if you're not right, it doesn't matter if you're not right. Well done, you. It shows you like your biologist. You'll have to go again. It's beautiful. Absolutely, Gainer. It is. It is. It is. And the underfloor heating is fantastic on all the pavements, isn't it? Uh, yes, there is 24 hours of sunlight, yes, um, in um, in the summer in Reykjavik, yeah. They do whale watching at midnight. <laughs> it's bright enough to see the whales at midnight in Reykjavik. It sounds... I've, I, I, we didn't go in the summer, it was in March, unfortunately. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to go back. We'll take the baby one day. But anyway... Oh, I think, they think, they think we've had the cow question up quite a long time. I've talked about Reykjavik for a lot as well, haven't I? I, 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 I? I tell you what, I'll do this. And we've got a question 18. What is your sheep shank? Now. Welsh people, no. And that's all I'm going to say. What is a sheep shank? And if my mate Steve's playing, I text him. You should know this one. What is a sheep shank? Yeah, what is a sheep shank? <laughs> Christine's not. You know what? I'm going to open my Coca-Cola and save that little bit of beer I got left. How long have I been on? About an hour or so, something like that. How long have I been on? Oh, 46 minutes live. There we go. Three quarters of an hour is not bad for a beer, is it? It's, it's actually quite slow for me. I tend to drink quicker than that. What is a sheep shank? <laughs> the delicious savour mash and gravy. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. A criminal offence and, and all the lamb shank. Here we go. Here is the, now the jokes are coming in. Now the jokes are coming in. Thank you very much, guys. I knew I could rely on some of you a lot for some of these jokes. <laughs> all right, I'll give you another 20 seconds on that one. And we'll go to question number 19. One of these days, I should include Paul Hardcastle in this quiz or question uh, at this next question, shouldn't I? Nah, that's a bit of a nah. I ain't gonna do Paul Hardcastle in one of these. Right, question nineteen. Oh, hang on, question number nineteen. Shawshank Sheepshank. <laughs> I'm surprised I could say that, Julie. Right, who played the title role in the film? Mandela, a long walk to freedom. When that was many M's. Who played the title role in the film Mandela Long Walk to Freedom? Can't say I've seen this movie. Um, but it's a film I do want to see. I've just not had a chance to watch this yet. Um, so if you know if it's available through Amazon Prime or Flick, can you let me know in the chat? That'd be great. Because I'd like to watch it one day. Because uh, he did great things, Nelson Mandela, for the people of South Africa. Well, for certain people in South Africa. After apartheid and all that crap. You missed some pictures there, love. I haven't put any pictures in this yet, but... There, Beck, sorry. Punctuation. Oh, I did. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I missed a... Right about there. Underneath the... Um... This is so hard to do. Oh, this is so bloody hard. There we go. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna give up. Gain a freckle every time I say something wise. Ah, uh, very funny, Dave. Uh, ben, very funny, Ben. Who played that role in that film? Because I'm not saying the name again. Because Christ, I ain't got. <laughs> I'm. A, I plan to be online for two hours, not twenty-two hours. 
the baby in one arm. Yeah, is she is the baby all right though? A little bit. I'm sure. I'm assuming she is there, Beck. I'm assuming she is. Yeah, she's got her mum, so she's happy. You know the ten seconds on that one. It's on Netflix. Thanks, John. I'll take a look at it then. Thank you, pal. Uh, who played that bloke in that? I should say that next time, shouldn't I? You're not seeing it though. Ah, shame. Do, 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 do. Next question. Last. Last question. What was a five shilling piece also known as? What is a five shilling piece known as? Also known as? Five shillings. That's what we, well, when I was a kid. Oh, wow, some Mandela when he visited with five shillings. When he visited. That's awesome. That's really cool. We actually have some graffiti in Hull because we have the Freedom Festival in here. Oh, we got this year. Um, and there is a graffiti wall in Hull, and there's this great picture of him on there. It's so good. We've, um, it's the it's really be 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 behind the, the the if you know Hull at all, it was it's been be 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 moved now, unfortunately, um, behind the Combine Court Centre in Hull. So if you know Hull, you know what I mean. What a five shilling piece known as when 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 when, when I was a kid. I remember getting a shilling once. Hmm. And it was a five it was still used as a five P. Apparently I didn't realise that until they brought the new little five P's in. A Bob shilling. <laughs> it's a now I know there are countries out there though that, 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 that still use shillings, so this is a for for the United Kingdom by the way, I just remembered this. There are other countries that have that, 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 that still use pound shillings and pence, I believe. So it's it's, a, it's a, just the United Kingdom. Thank you very much. And that's it for the twenty. And that's it for the twenty questions. So, do you want to get your answers, Matt, ready sorted soon, or do we do something else first? I'll give you another ten seconds, and then I will. Uh, it's hard for you in 10 seconds. I can't, I'm starting to get more comfortable with this now. I'm sitting back and this is relaxing a bit more. Now. Do I? Do I? Nah. <laughs> Let's not. Right. Bonus round. We what? Well, we haven't done this before, and so I decided to do this this in in the week. Um, I, and I thought, you know what? This is a this is a good way. If you've not done that well in the questions, this is going to be a great way to bump your score up. Because this is a, this question, there's only one question and there's a lot of answers for it. And each answer is worth a point. So, for example, if, this, if, if, if the question, and you name all five people in the Spice Girls, each Spice Girl is worth one point. So in this, this is a great way to just give, 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 give your score a big boost. No Googling, because Google's cheat. If you're Googling, you're cheating, and we don't have that in this house, it, in this quiz. Okay. Is she all right there, Rebecca? Hi. The baby's gone back to sleep. She's oh. teething, so she's real grumpy. Yeah, she is. She is. Anyway, so uh, I was just explaining bonus round. I love this bonus round. Bonus round, this. This, this, this. this is the best start here I've, I've had since we started doing the quiz on the YouTube with the questions up there and I need to get remember and I need to put a sign up on my computer point that way because <laughs> I keep pointing that way on the screen. <laughs> if you can see me set up the telly that has got the questions on is over there and it's actually over there right are we ready for the bonus question remember there are a lot of answers for this and each answer is worth a point and I'll give you a bit of time to do this one but don't please 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 don't go because if you cheat you're only cheating yourself. Are we ready? Excluding special seasonal additions uh, and <laughs> salt and shit, because they're a bit, you know, it's the blue packet one, isn't it? There are 11 flavours of Walker's Crisp in the UK. Name them. And and and, and Joe, I'm sorry, you're in Australia. You're, New yeah, yeah, from New Zealand. I'm just gonna to have to ask you to guess at least. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I completely forgot you're in New Zealand. Um, so I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna to have to ask you to guess. But 
excluding special edition seasonal variants and salt and shake, there are 11 flavours of Walker's Crisps in the UK. Name them. Now, how was that for a question? <laughs> she sat there over there laughing because she was like, that can't be right, there can't be that many. And I double checked. Um, I went on the Walker's Crisp website this afternoon and showed her. And she was very impressed. What's your favourite flavour to give one away? Oh, so you know what? I, I, everyone can have one point for this one because I do love ready salted. Ready salted? Eh. The, bo the boar choice. They're just a boring flavour. You know what? They just fill my crisp need. Yeah? Yeah, because they don't give me funny breath like some flavours. They oh, don't. Oh, yeah. They don't make me go all. No, the way other flavours do. They don't taste about strong. They don't taste about... Yeah, they're, they're, they're just a nice... Salty, fatty snack. Yeah, you want. a salty, fatty snack that you want. Yeah, I like a Walker's yeah, crisp. Carbs, fat and salt, that's all you need. It's really. like toast, isn't it? It's nothing like toast. Comforting, you know, they're just <laughs> normal. How are crisps like toast? Good, they're just comforting. Well, they're just... They're just there, aren't they? Just comforting. <laughs> They're just there. They're just comforting, aren't they? If you ever want a bit of a snack, a slice of toast or some water, a bag of walkers plain. You can't go wrong with that, can you? So you wouldn't plain be salt and shake without the salt and the shake. <laughs> that is basically just chips. So, well, it says Overcooked <laughs> cold. I mean, Overcooked <laughs> cold chips with no mash in them. <laughs> no, <mash is> <laughs> to quote my now 14 year old son um, there's no mash in this chip yeah. I'll tell you about that actually it was outrageous. I'll tell you about that we ordered a Chinese takeaway once and my 14 year old son was outraged outraged because there was no as, the, as he got a chip and it was just crispy outside with, and inside there wasn't any mash kind of inside. it didn't have any mash in it and he said there's no mash in this chip he just looked at it and he looked at us and We actually asked him. Evan, how do you think they get the soft bit into the middle of the chip? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, well, do you, there's nobody sat there with crispy chips outside <laughs> injecting mash into them. Absolutely. It's just potato. He was like, well, it's soft. <laughs> no, no, no mash in my chips. In this one. There's no mash. Right, what we got then? You've got five, but only no more. Five. Only no four for certain, Ben. There are 11. I didn't think there were 11, but there are 11. You got eight, Darren. Oh, well done, Darren. Go on. Like I say, great way to boost your score. One point for each correct one. All right, one point for each correct one. And as I say, this is correct as of today from the Walker's Crisp website. As in... Walker's UK. Walker's.co.uk. Well, 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 everywhere else in the world, they've got Liz. Uh, yeah, for some reason they're called Walkers in the UK, but yeah, as of as of what two o'clock this afternoon, three o'clock this afternoon, four o'clock this afternoon. When I check this, oh, they 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 are called. There are eleven flavors, excluding Walkers, excluding Salt and Shake, and the seasonal special editions they've released. We have eleven, but 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 not sure. About three of them, Yorkie. Oh, that's all right. Though. Yeah, you tell you what. You feel more more fat with every answer you remember. Believe me, um, you, you you are in good company there, DK. You are. You really are in good company. <laughs> because I reckon out of us lot, it, in this chat, under there, and me, and the, and the missus who's over that way. So I keep pulling up with them. It's because they're over that way. The other way, into the living room. Um, I, I would say we we, 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 we probably had all of them. Ew. What's your favourite out of the ones that discontinued? I don't know which ones discontinued. Do you ever have the barbecue ones? <gasps> yeah, I did like the yeah, barbecue Yeah, the black packet, yeah. Though. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, they're there, they're, 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 they to discontinue them. Oh, so if anyone's got barbecue Yeah, so, 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 if anyone's got barbecue. Pickled onion monster munch. Oh, that's a crisp. Oh, yeah, flaming hot or pickled onion. 
there is one lady at work who is my compadre in Monster Munch eating. We are the only two who buy Monster Munch in our work. In our building of 400, which currently houses 18. Yeah. Yeah. That's according to Willa Cleaner the other day. How are we doing? How long have we been on this question, Bex? Do you think? Of, how long have we had? About five minutes. I'm not going to do an intermission tonight because, well, I can't be bothered. Because I, I, and, and in any case, I'm giving you time to do this. And, and I can't get the music working. I don't know what's going on. So much wrong. I'm going to have to have, have words with Brad as he'll, he'll remind me. Go on, Darren. You remember a nine? Well, what I'll, yeah, we have until, I tell you what. Flaming Hot Cheetos after a few beers are the goat. <sighs> Flaming Hot Cheetos. These are the ones that make these things all red, but the Cheetos just... Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. They're all right. I, I wouldn't mind them. I'd rather have Flaming Hot Monster Munch. Do you remember those special editions that were created by members of the public? The winning flavour got to be a real flavour. Onion Bargy. Yes. Yes. Now, did anyone see the the, the uh, Cajun squirrel? Had no squirrel in it. I was disappointed. No squirrel in a Cajun squirrel crisp. What's that all about? Did they do hedgehog ones rather than flaming chat? Yeah, they did do hedgehog one at one point, yeah. And and Yorkie with your flaming hot cheetos. I agree with that, but there's only one goat. Oh, Richard. And his name is Thomas Edward Brady Jr. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Still got to be in my bonnet because the goat now plays for Tampa Bay instead of New England. But hey, how? Let's go to the to the two. Are we ready for the answer? Did you like our segue then, Rebecca? Was that a good segue? Well, no, because you stopped now and you've lost your flow. I have. Sorry, because I got excited. Ba 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 ba. The hey, how? Let's go. Can't be a bit of romance. Are you? Do you want your answers? Are you ready for your answers? Are we ready for him? Oh, Cause my back's ready for him. I'm telling you. At Christmas they had sprouts. They taste like the real thing. Awful. Yeah, sprouts are the devil spawn. Oh, I like the sprouts ones. It tasted like oniony sprouts. Though, Did I it? get you some sprout? Oh yeah. Sprouts. Yeah, yeah. I got you the Christmas packs, didn't I? Two of them. The yeah, the very multi packs. When I was a kid, the packs were far bigger than today, and I'm still they're very. Head is disappointed with the healthy option portion. Now, um, um, I don't know if the packs are smaller or your hands are bigger. They definitely made them smaller. Yeah, they did. They make them a little bit smaller. Yeah. Loads smaller. Yeah, there's not as much here. I that's why I tend to buy grab bags. Pack bags. Oh, two, two, two bags of regular size. Oh, you chunky monkey! Wait, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Answer, answer to question number one. Are we ready? Question number one. Roald Dahl wrote The Witches. And there uh, is Roald Dahl himself. God. What time do you want? I bet he went through the soap. Yeah, You're not even looking at the picture. It's not, it's not come up yet. It? Yeah, I was going to say. He went through the soap a bit, didn't he? Roald Dahl. Did anyone get Roald Dahl? It wasn't J.K. Rowling, but she did write about witches. Uh, 11 flavours, not sure if they're all official. If we get 11, I'm ashamed. They're there, they like sprouts. These sprouts are made from chemicals. I like that. <laughs> Most back has always been 25 grams from my knowledge. Main bag is 37 grams, I think. Now that, that Darren, that Darren is some grade A bar material. Check that out. That, that is some grade A. Wah. Ding. Nice one. Roll Dahl wrote the witches. Question number two. I would like it's Cassius Clay. Yep. Cassius Clay. And that picture there is from the rematch of the Sonny Liston. Well, 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 he beats Sonny Liston in I think the second round or the third round, quite early on in the fight. Great fight as well. Great, great fighter. Possibly the best that ever was, ever will be. Anyway, question number three, 11. And there are your fielding positions. For those of you who like cricket, if you can't see it, it's a bit small, isn't it, I think? That one, but there you go. There, 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 there is a point right about here 
which is called Silly Point. Um, which I think is the best name for a position in all of spot, because the batsman usually here. A bowler comes teaming in from this end. Right there. and it, Well, it's, if it's a spin bowler, anyway, it's quite Why a slow one. Oh, there are uh, a twelve is third man, but it, uh, is that not a member of the team? Then? No, but there are eleven usually. Hang on, so you're telling me that there's eleven? No, all all these are fielding positions. There are eleven. Oh, they're not yeah. actual players. No, that's just fielding positions that are yours. That's just fielding okay. positions. So yeah, the main ones are your slips, your gully, your cover, the mid off, mid on, and right here is silly point. When a bad batsman leathers it, your hands and face are the only thing stopping that ball. And a bit of metal are the only thing stopping that ball hitting you in the face at 100 mile an hour. Anyway, question four, cartography. Cartography. Now, I should have known that. Because seven of nine from Star Trek, her role on Voyager was to, was to be in, in stellar cartography. And she mapped the route home. Should have known that. That's a tricky. For five, Taurus. Born on St. George's Day, which is April the 26th. Hello? Well, I'm, I'm reading Darren's um, answers and he sent these answers to me. Don't ah, me. sorry, darling. So rude. I'm sorry. I just assume you were on Facebook. <laughs> you got question four right. Nice one, Darren. <laughs> the cricket answer. <laughs> nice one, mate. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Number four was cartography. Oh, it was cartography. Yeah, three was three was cricket. Four is cartography. That's right. Question five, St. George's Day. You're a Taurus. Question six. What type of animal is a Russian blue? It is a cat. And there's little, and there's a lovely picture of the beautiful little kitty there as well. I don't know if it's come up on your screen yet, Rebecca. I don't know how far behind you are. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Question six is, of course, a kitty. Mm, I, I must admit, Christine, again, I love how you put the crosses and the X's. That's so funny. Oh, 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 of Darren's? Yeah. Oh, you need to put these on Facebook at some point, Rebecca. Or he needs to put them on balls or something, don't I, on the, on the uh, thread. <laughs> Question five, my answer was... My answer was the wrong, the, wrong though. It was the other star sign animal crossing this month. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> unlucky Darren, unlucky, unlucky. Uh, question number seven, Strider. Aragorn was actually known as Strider because when they met Frodo in the bar, I believe it was, or in an inn, Aragorn, I think Aragorn introduced himself as Strider. But what did he put for that one, Rebecca? Sorry, Darren, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it's... Very true. Power to electric buckler. This is the moons of Jupiter all over again, isn't it? And the tidal, you know, the tidal um, um, the, the yeah, the forecast. The, 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 the shipping forecast. Right. That's question seven is Aragorn. Do you know who that is? you know what it is? What? What? The actor. Um, Viggo Mortensen. It was Viggo Morton something. Viggo something. Yeah. No, Mortensen, isn't it? Yeah, it is Viggo Mortensen, yeah. I always very... remember a name to a pretty face. <laughs> but it was only really pretty in that film. That's why she never remembers me. He wasn't, he wasn't that good looking in any other film, though, was he? I don't know. I don't think he was good looking in that, to be honest with you. He wasn't Frodo. He didn't carry the ring into Mount Doom. Anyway, question eight. Soft cell. Of course it was soft cell. Can, 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 can we have half a point for Jeff? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. It was Strider. It wasn't Jeff. Not a fan of Lord of the Rings, surely. Shame. Great books, great movies too. So anyway, Soft Cell, 1981. And there are the lads of Soft Cell. Do you know who covered it in 2001? Yeah. Is that all we're going to get, Rebecca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say who it was. I know you know it, yeah. Who covered Ma Who covered Tainted Love in 2001? Does anyone know? This is only for a bonus question. This isn't... It's not worth the point in this one. It's just, you know, just, just interesting if anybody knows. Because you know. Because I know and I like that version. Yes. 
It was Marilyn Manson, by the way. If you don't, if you need to, if because you just need to know, it was Marilyn Manson. Anyway, number nine, Phil Collins played both Live Aid in London and Philadelphia. He he, he played London. Went on to Concord. Played Philly. I was reading about it today. Not a fan of Phil Collins. The guy he looked like an like a large baby. It still looks like a baby, not denying that. My cat's about to sh- sh- shove that? our Chromecast off, my, my Chromebook off the chair. She's actually very cuddly. It's cuddle time for it the It is cat. cuddle time for the cat. The baby's gone now, it's, uh, you know. Anyway, number 10. Now, this question's so long, I've had to put it on another table. Oh. On another slide. This is the one that you wrote. This is the one I wrote. What, see? You, you, just you know what? You know what, but you know what, Rebecca, you just gotta roll with it. Uh, roll with it. <laughs> sorry, I'm very sorry. Uh, it was roll with it. It was roll with it. Kind of like eye rolling that can happen for that. Roll with it. Great song. Great, great song. Great bands. Both bands were fantastic. Blur and Oasis. That was a great summer to be into British rock. Fancy putting people through that jeez. I know what you mean, Rob, because Phil Collins... I mean, he, he put people through it on I'm two gonna continents. Off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off Robbo if he starts dissing Phil Collins. I'm going to like him more. <laughs> anyway, question 11. Roman numeral D is 500. Yeah. Five hondo. Well done, Darren. Yeah, you got that right, Darren, didn't he? Yeah. Well done, Darren. Well done. Rod Stewart for the live aid question. So why would you put people through Rod Stewart? Jesus Christ almighty. I'm not a fan of Rod Stewart either. He just got a weird haircut. And he really, really likes himself, doesn't he? He does think he's God's gift to the world. To be fair, he's not even... He's not even... He's not even... He's not even... God's, God's gift to being called Rod Stewart. You know, he's not even God's gift to Rod Stewart. Then there we go. Anyway, question 12. How many pints in a quart? Two of them. Oh, I've run out. The quarter of a gallon, isn't it? A gallon, eight pints. It's a quarter of a gallon. Oh, oh blimey, I tell you what, there's a few, a few questions, got, a few answers flew in for that one. Uh, question 11. Jo- uh, uh, correct for John, correct for Darren, correct for Gainer, correct for, co- correct for Joe. Christine was a few out, she put seven. Never mind. And Julie loves a bit of Rod. Thirteen. Sorry. Uh, which Greek author wrote the ter- ho- he- 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 the tortoise? I emphasised the word fable. I didn't realise I did this. I just thought back now, and it was Aesop. Anyway, Aesop's fables. Aesop. Not Barry the author. I'm afraid. <laughs> Not Barry the author. Your questions, Darren. Well done, mate. I'm loving these. These are great. These are absolutely spawn. Please post these to the bars afterwards, mate. Because thinking about a few. Th- how many pints might be in a keg of beer, a quarter sized one, and the things didn't work out for me there yeah, either? Good logic there. You really and what did he put for the quart? 60. 60. Good logic. Just wrong, wrong units. Mm. Yeah. It's quarter of a gallon, anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> Aesop. Julie loves a bit of rod. Yeah, I've already uh, emphasised that. Uh, yeah, I've already commented on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Julie. You may need to rephrase that. I think you might have to, Julie, as well. It's, it's good you I wasn't drinking anything when I read that. Anyway, question number 14 was Wellington. Wellington. Oh, welly boat. There's a map of New Zealand. The north is on the southern tip of the North Island. So, the middle. <laughs> yeah. Do you call that the middle of New Zealand? Or... I think people mainly call it yeah, but it's the so, so, but if it's the southern tip of the North Island or the northern tip of the Southern well, Island, that island, is that the small, middle? And the rest of it's really long. Then it wouldn't be the middle, would it? It should be the top. It's in the middle of the country. It's in the middle of my map there. So I think I'm going to call it the middle. Oh well, you, you call it whatever you like, darling. That's not right. <laughs> 
What do you mean it's not right, Julie? It's, it's Wellington. It's capital city in New Zealand, isn't it? Curious little capital of the world. Well said, Joe. See you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Joe, I knew you'd got that. The minute you... Southern city. Southern, southern capital southern city. city. I think in most... Southern most country I could. I was going for Madagascar, but couldn't think of the capital. It's the one where all the animals live in it. 15. Whoa, what was the na 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 nationality of Rembrandt? It was Dutch. Of course, he was Dutch. He was Dutch. Great painter. Wonderful paintings. Can't say I'm, I, I can't name any. But apparently, he was really good. Should we move on? 16. The Aurora Borealis. There are a few bridges between two islands. Ah, thank you, John. Uh, uh, is another one? It's the Aurora Australis. Aurora Australis. There we go. Oh, baby. I'm going to go down, down. I've talked for five minutes about Reykjavik at this point. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you've got a 17, I should get. Yeah, I've just realised. I didn't put my pen on my, my shirt, did I? You've got pens on. There we go. I didn't do my pen. I thought there was something missing. It was my pen in front of me over there. That's probably what it was. It was there. Anyway. 17. How many stomachs does a cow have? It has four. Four stomachs. Because grass is not that easy to digest. No, grass isn't. But as you go through all four, each bit of it breaks down a bit more. And for science, there's a picture of them. I mean, it's it's probably not that big, the first stomach, or you know, but yeah, that's how the lay, that's how it works. It's a bit grim, for that one. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Reality. No, I like that, Darren. That's very good. Ro the Barry for everything he didn't know. <laughs> He's got everything Barry. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, that there uh, goes in through the mouth, down the esophagus, into the postures, and out of the back. Moo. There we go. Rump, sell, and fill it in ribeye. Absolutely, there, dear. Uh, John. Not, not those bits. <laughs> no. Anyway. What's a sheep shank? It is a knot. That, in that, that cow, I can see, I can see a face. What? I can, what? See, I can see a, I, maybe it's just me. Where? Is it the second, third, and fourth stomach? Yeah, they're making the face in things. <laughs> <laughs> so. It looks like, well, it kind of looks like a... Yeah, I can see that now. A kind of weird grin. Yeah, I can see that now. Anyway, a sheep shank is a knot. It's a knot. It's not the other thing. What other thing? Oh. Steve. Oh. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And Steve, if you're watching this, or if you do watch this, shame on you. <laughs> uh, 19. Idris Elba played. He he, he 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 played Mandela. And there's Idris, right there. Idris Elba. What was the answer for 15, 16, and 17, Rebecca? Our interwebs crash. Can you just hand me my... One second, I'll just grab you my. I'll grab my phone, I'll give you the answers. 15. 16 and 17. 15 was Dutch. Yeah. 15 Question. was Aurora Australis. Yeah. Dutch for, for 15. That's where Rembrandt was from. 16 was the Aurora Australis. And 17 was Cow Stomachs 4. Uh, 18 was a sheep shank. It is a knot. Okay, thank you very much. Look at Robbo on there. Look Go, Robbo. I tell you what, you're doing well on this one tonight, Robbo. I tell you. He's putting in the, uh, the Thought it was Morgan Freeman, hence the freckle comment. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I get that, Ben. But, you know, Morgan Freeman... He did play Mandela in something, though, didn't he? Morgan? He did. He played him in Invictus, the story of the, uh, the Rugby World Cup from 1994, starring Matt Damon. Matt Damon. It's Francois Pina. 
who was the captain of the Rugby World Cup winning team from South Africa. I'm not going to put that in next week's. No, we're not are, are you? It's in three weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know what? I do these questions on the Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I don't do these. I don't do them that far in advance. I should do, really, but I don't. I do them on a Saturday afternoon. Anyway. I didn't know the freckle thing, but I thought I'd not come with it. Anyway. Question 20. Five shillings is known as a crown. There we go. Five, five shillings is a crown. Yeah, five. Is that the question? Yeah. What is a five shilling piece also known as a crown? And there's one right there. No. What was a five shilling that, piece? That's no, not no. how you just said it. Mm, I'm the copy and uh, uh, mm, a five shilling piece was known as a crown. Okay. Yeah. Incidentally, if you wanted to buy one of them off eBay, they are currently selling for 19p. If you're interested, that's where I got the image from. I think. Somewhere like that. Well done, Gainer and John. Almost half a crown there for Darren. Whoa, 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 what did he put Rebecca on? Or, or is it too... You, know, you put 10p, not bad there, Darren, I must admit. 11. Right. Are we ready? Boost your answers now. It's bonus answer time. Now, these are correct as of the Walker's Chris website. There we go. We've got... You, 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 you all got at least no, one. We've got ready salted, cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, prawn cocktail, beef and onion, roast chicken, smoky bacon, marmite, pickled onion, tommy ketchup, and John, you were asking about this the other day, Worcester sauce. Boom. How many of them did you get? These are, uh, there are a couple of other flavours available as well. They are seasonal flavours. That's why I've not included them. Nine, nine, Darren. Boom, well done, Darren. He missed tomato ketchup and marmite. Ah, oh, unlucky, mate. Unlucky, pal. Sale before. As in barbecue or barbecue with sparkling onions. Oh, of course, yeah. I was thinking Pringles. No, there, there are uh, yeah, there are Pringles as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, ready salted prawn cocktail, beef and onion, roast chicken, smoky bacon, marmite, pickled onion. They're all oniony flavors, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Tomato ketchup and Worcester sauce. Eight. Seven normal, five bonus, 12 in total, appalling. Never mind, Ben. Gainer, 9 out of 11. John, 8. Oh, well done, guys. Well done on your bonus. Like I say, it's one point, each, one point for each of those that you got right. So it's a total of 31 points available in tonight's quiz. So it's going to be 20 points plus whatever the bonus is for the scores. Okay. 9 on the bonus. You p p put spring on instead of pickle and barbecue instead of marmite. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, I'd rather barbecue over marmite because I can just piss off, to be fair. Right, how did you do? Total of 31 points. Gainer, straight in there with 27. Oh, I remember you picking me up a packet of sour cream in the way back in the day from the garage. Probably, yeah, yeah. 27 for Gainer, well done. My lovely other half got 11 for Chris. Especially as such as a mastermind next year. Get in, it should definitely be. One key, definitely be. Right, what did you get? 27 from Gainer so far. Well done. Any advance on 27? Any advance on 27? By the way, um, something that I'm going to add to next week. We're starting a leaderboard. Oh, yes. Stanley Dwad. So what we're going to ask you to do is PM me on Facebook or Twitter at Rich Hales um, what your score is. And what we'll do is we'll add them up and at the start of every quiz we'll stick them on there so we can see what you're all getting. And that way, at the end of the month, 
Shall, 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 shall I do it as a monthly thing or? Yeah, at the end of the month, we'll see who won that month. Who was the most boring that month? Who was the most quizzical that month? If we keep doing this for more than a month. So, who's playing on Facebook? Anyone playing on Facebook? I'm barely on our Facebook. Was Alison not playing? Because Alison normally plays on Facebook, doesn't she? Because she doesn't have a YouTube. Yeah. So, send me your scores or put a comment after the video's ended what your score was. Something like that. Just make sure you give me your scores and we'll stick them on a leaderboard and we'll add them all up every month. Or every week, we'll add your scores up, and whoever wins at the end of the month can do. We'll get a certificate or something, or I'll I'll talk to John about something for the Facebook group. I don't know it. We haven't decided yet. All right. How is that? That sound all right, that doesn't it? Tiebreaker doesn't count though in the score. If we've got a clear winner. If we've got a player, if 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 we've got a clear winner. Brilliant. But. The, the, all I want is the score you got in the 20 questions plus bonus. Okay, the tiebreaker is not plus one. All right, because all the tiebreaker is, is to determine who won that week. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. But it looks no like it could be. No advantage. Wonky got 26. <sighs> Ooh. Ew, well done, though. Well done, all of you guys. Well done. 27 gainer, that was abs. We're, we're gonna have to pick the ad questions next week. <laughs> a certificate, something. I'll talk to John, see, see, see if I can do some If John will do me some you're, you're on the spot now, Robert, because you know. <laughs> I just sprung this on you, went to pal. Sorry, for it, mate. Sorry, buddy. Um, but yeah, um, perhaps the. Uh, the. 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 the, the yeah, something or other, I don't know. But yeah, any advance on 27 anyway? I, I think Gainer's got it, do you, Rebecca? It looks like it. I think this is Gainer's week. Christine is on the same wavelength as me. Some sort of boring certificate. Some sort of certificate. Yeah. I think a certificate could be in order through like an image posted. So I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Who gets the wooden spoon anyway? Is that Ben this week? He got about 12, didn't he? How many points did you get, Benny boy? He was about 12. Want to throw us a text or a Discord message, please, Ben? 14 points for a Darren. Yep. Yeah. Appreciate the messages. We'll sort someone out, yeah. What I'll do as well, I've got... We, we, we've got a Discord server that my mates uh, that I've got from... Um, um, uh, just, no, nah, forget the Discord. Just send me a message on Facebook or Twitter at Rich Hales. Whoa, whoa, what's the wooden spoon, Ben? It's, wooden it's an actual wooden spoon. Uh, I've never heard the wooden spoon. Oh, Ben, you sheltered, sheltered boy. Uh, the wooden spoon is if you come last. Yeah, Surprise you get for coming last. And it's an actual wooden spoon in this case. Although I'm not going to gear it because I'm tight and I'm not sending it either. I can't be bothered. Even though you live just leave the end of the city from me. Anyway. Looks like San Serviette from Rich Hells. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah, I tell you, I I could do something there, John. Looks like anyway, this is Gainer's week. Gainer, congratulations, my love. Well done. Fantastic, fantastic quizzing from you there, mate. Um I'll try and figure out the music again for next week. The main thing is you didn't hear our domestic beforehand, did you? Result. Right. Shall we do it anyway? Because I like the tiebreakers. They're good, aren't they? Shall we do it? And I put all of 30 seconds into this one because this did... I knew this one anyway. Right. Uh, yeah. We're, 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 we're going to have the tiebreaker just for fun. Again, in, it's not a plus one on your points. It doesn't count to your points. Although in your case, Ben, I might actually give you just 20 points if you get this right, to be fair. Because <laughs> you need all the in Ben's defence though, in Ben's defence you are sixteen, pal. So twelve points for a sixteen Yeah. He's sixteen. So in Ben's defence, sixteen, and he's done really well. I'll give you that. Alright, I we ready any road. Do we want the tiebreaker? Shall we give you it? Ready? Boom, tiebreaker. UK number one singles did the Beatles have? How many UK number one singles did the Beatles have? 
Now, I'll, I, I was thinking something else for this, but I thought, nah. I'll just give you this. How many UK number one singles did the Beatles have? Is anyone a fan of the Beatles? Except for me. Do, 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 do. Go on, how many number one singles did the Beatles have in the UK? No, to be 16 to get an on. I know exactly what you mean, mate. Trust me. <sighs> you know, as opposed to being 38 and past it. There's some glorious photographs of um, Kelly and Matthew on the uh, Facebook of them in their PJs ready for the quiz. Is there really? I'll check them out afterwards. I've not been on the Facebook. Well, I'll tell you what, well, while you're answering all this lot, Answer in bonus. I'll have a look. Let's have a look at the quiz stuff. Uh, John, I love your picture of your. Uh, you got a lot of chocolate there, pal, and you can see my face stroking my beard. That's not. I'm, I'm not liking the beard stroking. I tell you. My answer's been past the lovely Rebecca Hales. I doubt I'll get it. You yeah, might you, you might get it, Darren. You never know, pal. You never know. You're doing all right, mate. You must tr trust me. You've done all right. Uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I'm, trying to find, I'm trying to find these pictures here. I'm, I'm struggling to find these pictures. Oh! Tell you... Mm, 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 tell you what, Matthew. They are some cracking PJs, pal. Do you want to see? Are you ready for these? I don't know if you can see them very well, but are they not the best PJs? Look at that! Look at that! We even got a cape. Get in, mate! I like I like them, pal. I'm gonna heart them because they're ace. There you go. I'll give, I'll give a heart on them. How interesting is that, senior quiz master? Reading his Facebook. Yeah. And oh, Kelly, no, you look no, lovely no. as well, my love. You look absolutely lovely as well, my love. And I love the glass of rosé as well in the end. Right. Are we ready for the answer anyway? What answers have we got? 18 from Wonky, 18 from Christine, 13 from Ben and he's a fan, Gainer 24, Yorkie with 15, Alistair 9. What else did we get, Bex? What did we get from John? Whoa, 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 what did he say? Do you remember? Uh, he didn't have Batman PJs, it's your summer party. I tell you what, mate. Get... Any superhero will do for me. Anyway, thirteen for Robbo. One Wonky Warriors is Don and Martin. There we go. It's great to put a name to the YouTube handles. I need to make a list, I need to make a list of the YouTube handles. <laughs> so I don't know you all. I'm gonna have a post-it note on my screen down here just so I know who they all are. Thirteen, John said. Are we ready? They had. 17 UK number one singles. And I can't name them all, so don't ask me. But I do have the ones albums upstairs, and it said 27. Some people asked, uh, said 18. Some said 18. It was closest then, Rebecca, do we know? 18s. Wonkies. 27 said... You did say 27, Darren. Because that is the track listing on the ones album. Because that also includes their US number ones too. Beatles ones. So there we go. Seventeen and one singles for the BG for the Beatles. BG for the Beatles. Beatles. The BG. Beatles. I don't care how many BGs had because I know they were shit. <laughs> Controversial. Right. Anyway, seventeen and one singles for the Beatles. Well done, everyone. Thanks for playing, Gainer. Well done. Again, send me a PM uh, on Facebook with your answer or. On Twitter at Rich Hales, on Instagram at Rich Hales. Um, where am I? Else on my social. Say Rich on Snapchat. S e r r i c h. You know, I never use it, but you know, I'm on there as well. I'm not saying about messaging you on there. I don't use it either. Just at the end of the quiz, just slap me in the chat. It makes it easier for me. All right. Thank you. Well done. Thanks for playing. Well done to the winner. I need to adjust that for next week because <laughs> I'm covering it a bit there, look. Uh, well done.
so thank you guys it's been a blast as always <sighs> i need another beer see ya see you next week bye bye oh. yes